All right, what's going on guys? It's Trader here and you're watching another film breakdown over at hogbeat.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at one of Arkansas's top wide receiver targets in the 2023 class, four star out of Lee's Summit, Missouri, uh, Joshua Manning, uh, big time target that Arkansas has been on for a little bit, was in town for the spring game and has another visit coming up, which we're gonna talk about a little bit more and a lot over at hogbeat.com. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content just like this. We've got these film breakdowns coming out every single week, as well as uh, practice clips, recruit uh, highlight videos, um, full press conferences and full episodes of the Hogbeat Hour and the Diamond Hogs podcast. Uh, we're, we're rounding into the end part of the college baseball season and Mason Choate and Robert Stewart do a fantastic job of giving you everything you need to know about the Diamond Hogs over on the Diamond Hogs podcast. So definitely watch all those videos to get yourself back up to date after a crazy Stillwater regional. Um, and also go check out hogbeat.com where you can find more of my premium recruiting coverage as well as free recruiting coverage. Um, Andrew Hutchinson does a fantastic job as the editor of hogbeat.com. We've got Mason putting stuff up, Jackson Collier, uh, Kevin Bohannon, and Pete D'Alessandro all putting in a lot of work over there. It, I, I can promise you it's the best Razorback coverage in Northwest Arkansas in the country. You're not going to regret it. Um, and right now we're even running a deal where you can get a full year of our premium coverage, as well as access to the trough, our, our subscribers only message board, where you can find our game, our world famous game threads, um, as well as little tidbits uh, from the trail, from, from the court. However, whatever, however you want to follow the Razorbacks, you're going to be able to do that with a, uh, our subscription uh, and a subscription to hogbeat.com. And if you're a college student, you can take advantage of that deal. Um, a full year of that coverage, which is usually $100 value at only $11.95. Uh, we did the math before and it rounds out to about three cents per day. You're not going to beat that. Um, and all you have to do is email Andrew Hutchinson 413 at gmail.com with your uh, university provided dot edu email address and he'll hook you up with that deal and you'll be all set to follow the Razorbacks as they move uh, hopefully uh, through their push to Omaha uh, as well as uh, the upcoming football basketball and most of the next baseball season if you sign up right now um, you're not going to want to miss out on that deal so make sure you do take advantage of that if you're a college student and able to do so but without further ado let's go ahead and get into Joshua Manning's junior season highlights all right, like I mentioned, today we're going to be taking a look at 2023 wide out, one of Arkansas's top targets at the position in the 23 class, uh, Joshua Manning, four-star out of Lee Summit, Missouri. Uh, you can see here, put together a pretty impressive season, uh, nearly 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns in 10 games for Lee Summit was in town for the spring game and will be back in town coming up here in a couple of weeks uh, for an official visit. But um, he does have a personal connection to the program, so that, that's a major plus for Kenny Guyton and the staff. His mom was a basketball player here uh, back in the day. Um, so, so would be, once again, a major get for Coach Guyton and the receiver room, especially following the decommitment from Anthony Evans earlier on in the spring. Uh, but I'm really interested to see, you know, what, what Manning brings to the table at the receiver position. No shortage of talent in that 2022 class. Uh, and, you know, if you're able to follow that up with another solid commitment from a guy like Manning, then that would be would be a heck of a job done by the staff uh, putting weapons around their quarterback. Um, right now, KJ Jefferson and, and down the road, Malachi Singleton, who you brought in just a couple of weeks ago. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these highlights. Is on the kick return team. I always say you like to see the guys that are able to, to put in effort on that special teams uh, unit as well as uh, in their respective offensive or defensive position. Just burns them to the outside. As soon as he had that sideline, there was no, no one coming near him. So you can see there scheme-wise, uh, just the offense getting him the ball and, and letting him do something with it. That, that's a guy that you, you're seeing the shiftiness in the open field. You saw him break a tackle there. Um, really impressive stuff, even though it was just a screen pass grab. Uh, he's able to, to get to the outside and take it to the house. Ball perfectly placed there. He gets the separation. Um, 
and is able to get to the end zone as well. Finds the sideline. Uh, just a, a great catch over the shoulder. A lot harder than, you know, uh, you necessarily think watching it. Uh, I was a lineman, but those catches do, do definitely add a little bit of extra pressure for you. Once again, able to just break one tackle when he's gone uh, as soon as he finds that sideline. A real speedster. Um, anytime you're able to get him the ball and you're seeing the screens, uh, the the kick return, just as soon as he touches it, he's electric. Heck of a grab there at the front of that pylon. Able to get his toe down, moss the corner. Lined up outside again. That goal line fade route really working for him. Able to haul that one in with the toe tap. Gets the separation. Great throw from the quarterback, but does face contact at the end there. Um, you love to see a receiver be able to, to fight through that and bring the ball down. Back shoulder. Can't tell if that one was underthrown or on purpose, but whichever way the corner bit um, and overran it, Manning able to come down and continue the play for the touchdown. Really, you're seeing here just a playmaker on the outside. Another one of those fade routes. That one was underthrown. He's able to go up and get the ball. Able to reach across the goal line there and get the touchdown. You're seeing here, you know, only 6'2", 195, but you're seeing a lot of plays where at the high school level, at least, he's a lot bigger than the guy he's matched up against, and, and he can out-jump him. Um, you used to see that a lot with, with a guy like Megatron, like Coolio Jones. Not saying he is those guys, but just a, hey, go get the ball. You're more physical. You, you have the, those attributes that allow you to be able to, to make a play, and they're just telling him to go ahead and do it. Screen pass, touchdown. Ops not to take it to the outside there, cuts it back in, and he still has a wide open lane after he breaks that initial tackle. Another screen breaks two that time. Slides away from that last tackler and he's gone. Comes back for that one at the pylon again. Heck of a throw that time by the quarterback being able to, to, you know, let Manning come back and make a play. Just so many fade routes you're seeing. And, you know, funny enough, one thing I, I was very uh, fond of that Malachi Singleton was able to do when I broke down his film after his commitment was throw that fade. He, he puts it in nearly the perfect spot for his receiver every time. Uh, and Manning, you're seeing here, is able to take those those well-placed balls and be able to do something with them and come down um, and if they're there he's able to get, have the speed to, to gather and, and take it to the house so that could be a really interesting thing to watch between the two if Manning were to commit that that Singleton really does play into a lot of the strengths that I'm seeing on this tape Didn't look like that was designed, but the, the improvisation there by both the quarterback and by Joshua Manning allowed for at least a little bit of gain on a play that looked to be a busted up screen. Another improvised route, able to haul in the throw through the contact. See, once again, just doing whatever they can to get the ball in his hands. And as soon as they do that, uh, he, he's able to get some big yardage for him. Runs through contact again, keeps his legs churning, is able to pick up that extra yardage. Cornerbacks off and, and he's going to make him pay. Even with the extra coverage he was able to get there, um, can't make the tackle, and he, he winds up getting a big gain out of that. Uh, broke another one as well. You love to see the shifty nature from a receiver, just being able to make men miss, uh, whether by going around them, through them, over them, doing whatever you have to do to get that extra yardage in the open field. Oh, my goodness. What a play there. Just makes the corner look small is able to come down with it and continue that extra yardage. 
uh, that one, that one, you know, you, you maybe at the college level see a, a cut in because that was wide open, and, and you'll see the quarterback maybe read that. But nonetheless, able to take the outside fade and, and, and really run with it, not run with it literally, but uh, really, you know, score a touchdown out of it. So, so the the called play works there. Just quick off the line. That's a great release from Manning there. Another kickoff play. Takes it across the field. You can already see that coverage is in trouble. Gets to the sideline. Nearly takes that one all the way. That's about field goal range. Um, and that's going to do it for us. There you have it. That was the junior season film breakdown of Joshua Manning. I really liked what I saw from him, especially on some of those fade balls. Um, given, I think a lot of times when you're evaluating receivers, you want to bring in guys that fit with the other guys you've already already recruited. And you saw there uh, Malachi Singleton. I definitely do recommend going to check out that film breakdown, by the way. It's in the playlist um, that you're watching now. But he's really a master at throwing the fade, uh, the fade from what I saw. Uh, put the ball where it needs to be, um, good positioning for his receivers. And Manning, uh, from this tape, appeared to be an expert at being able to, to find that ball in the air, track it down, and make something happen once he has it in his hands. Uh, the ability to go up strong there even allows a little bit of extra cushion for your quarterback. Uh, if he underthrows a ball or misses on it, you know that Manning's going to have that catch radius and that awareness and even that physicality to just go ahead and, and make something happen for you. That's a huge, huge thing to have, not only as a quarterback, uh, but also as a coach, you, you want to be able to trust the guy you're throwing the ball to. So um, it's no surprise that Manning is one of Arkansas's top targets in the class. Uh, and, you know, with an, with an official visit coming up here in a couple of weeks, that's a, that'd be a massive get for coach Kenny Guyton especially going up against the likes of Notre Dame and uh, a sleeping giant in Nebraska who's really trying to put something together with Scott Frost um, would be a massive, massive addition to the class for Sam Pittman. Already ranked eighth nationally, but you're starting to see really, really talented guys make their way to Fayetteville and not only just for visits to show, but talk about staying and you're seeing some stay as well um, and back up that talk. So would be really, really interested to see Manning in an offense with Malachi Singleton. Um, is that going to happen? I'm not sure. There's no telling at this point. Um, his recruitment, you'd have to think that his mother, his mom playing basketball here back in the day does give Arkansas a little bit of, of a lean uh, if he's tilting towards another school or has two schools at even ground. Um, but that all remains to be seen, and there's a long way to go in this class. Uh, you have about 10 commitments locked in uh, across the board in most places, so there's still still a lot to be done, a full season to be played in between then. Um, but that is going to wrap up my film breakdown of Joshua Manning. Leave a like and uh, subscribe if you did enjoy this for more film breakdowns every single week. Leave a comment. Let me know who you guys want to see next. Um, and definitely go check out hogbeat.com. Uh, we have free coverage, uh, premium coverage, um, basically everything you need. Take advantage of that deal for uh, that, that one year of premium coverage for about three cents a day. You're not going to beat that anywhere else. And even if you stick with the free route, um, Hutch does such a great job of, of providing content for you guys. Uh, I really would highly recommend going to check out uh, hogbeat.com just to even, you know, even if you just want to see what's over there, couldn't recommend it more. I, I truly don't believe there's a better uh, place to find your Razorback sports coverage in the country. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, and that is going to wrap it up for me here. I'm Alex Trader, and I'll see you next time.